What's going on and welcome back to my channel, What in the World of Data. Here I'll give you the insights to biotechnology and healthcare benefits. So if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on any new information that you need to be informed about regarding worldly data or news. Any links will be down in the description below regarding the matters in these tutorials, so let's get started. When it comes to the advent of precision medicine, combined with the power of big data analytics, this powerful combination is set to transform healthcare and customize treatments specific to individual genetic profiles. With all this being said, this marks a significant shift in healthcare and biotechnology. So allow me to try to break all of this down. When it comes to precision medicine, also known as personalized medicine, this is a medical approach that considers a patient unique genes, lifestyle, and environment to treat, diagnose, or prevent disease. This type of approach is different from the one size fit all that treats everyone the same. When you add the biotechnology side of it, biotechnology products has transformed healthcare, offering novel solutions to age old problems and improving patients outcome by transforming the early detection and monitoring of diseases, ushering in an era of proactive and personalized healthcare. For example, the combination of quantum and biotechnology could provide a cure for cancer not by eradicating cancer itself, but by reducing the impact and treatment of cancer to that of the common cold. Also, when it comes to medical biotechnology and healthcare, the technology allows them to produce the development of insulin, the growth hormone or gene therapies, and vaccines such as hepatitis B. Healthcare is also used in medical biotechnology when it comes to using living cells and cell materials to research and then produce pharmaceutical and diagnosis products. Keep in mind with all this new technology in healthcare, biotech still need the help and support of the nurses, healthcare managers, along with operation when it comes to the patient and creating a streamlined process. As I quickly touched on earlier, biotech is also pushing the boundaries when it comes to personalized medicine in 2024. Traditionally, physicians have forced to take the one size fit approach by diagnosing and treating disease and disorders by prescribing and administering the same therapies commonly prescribed and administered to the other patients with the same condition. When it comes to precision medicine, the approach is a bit different and more effective by the physician examining a patient's genetic profile to identify relevant characteristics and then prescribe certain therapies based on those characteristics. Some of the world's prominent companies offering biotechnology such as AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson Services, Novo Nerdis AG, and Abbott Laboratories, to name a few. Along with some biotechnology discoveries in healthcare from 2021, also worth boasting about is the CRISPR therapy. Scientists use CRISPR to treat genetic disease by infusing it into patients' bloodstreams. RTSS vaccine, the first vaccine for parasitic disease to prevent malaria. Photon counting CT scanner. This scanner can reduce radiation doses by up to 45% and improve imaging resolution. So what is your take on the merge of biotech and healthcare? Post your comments below. Many thanks for taking some time to check my tutorial out. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any important news or data that is currently out there. Please make sure you check out the thumbnail that will be floating around at the end pertaining to similar content. And since this is the word of world of data, what you didn't know, now you know.